Hello. I'd like to say thanks very much to everybody who bothered to contact me uh, when I released this first Hot Wheels compatible race timer out on the uh, YouTube channels and on the Adreno websites and asked me to make one. Well, thank you to you. I'm now very pleased and excited to show you this new finished product. The new Cooks Projects a production race timer and speedometer. So it comes in a nice new box uh, and with improved functionality. So what will it do? It will start your race with a light sequence and an audio sequence and then once that sequence is finished then the timer starts running. It will continuously monitor these light sensors until it detects both cars have gone through and as each one goes through with the second set of sensors behind there it can measure the speed and it will display those times and those speeds. So without further ado let me show you a little bit more of the features of this uh, wonderful new unit. It's self-contained. Simply place it over the top of some track, plug it in and away you go. It has two modes. Simply swipe the rear right hand sensor to enter the race timer mode or the left hand sensor to enter the speedometer mode. In speedometer mode the sensors are constantly monitored and will detect a car passing through uh, the unit and display its speed instantly on the LCD display and if you have the data link option it will also send that information directly to the computer via the USB interface. It will monitor every lane uh, continuously and every time you put a car down there it will give you the uh, speed of that car as it goes through and it will continue to do that until you turn it off. In race timer mode it will start with a sound and light sequence when both LEDs go out that is the start of the race and the race timer begins to run. That timer will continue to run until the first car passes the first front sensor and it will then measure the speed of the car and also detect the time difference between the first and the second car. It will display all those times and those speeds uh, before resetting and starting another race. Should the, one of the cars not finish the race then after about 10 seconds after the first car has passed then the unit will uh, assume that the other car has crashed and display the results for the one car that survived. Should you have the data link option, then at this stage, the unit will uh, send the information to the computer, which includes more detailed information on the speeds, as well as meters per second, kilometers per hour, miles per hour, and scale speeds. So we've managed to make it in lots of different colours. They're available on the website www.cooksprojects.com Please go and have a look on there. On there you can order uh, these and we'll dispatch them as soon as we can. Thank you very much again to all those who showed interest and uh, supported me in this starting of this project. Please leave your comments below and please subscribe to our channel Cooks Projects for updates on all our future endeavours.